now to Donald Trump speaking out to reporters about the game-changing vote. ABC's Tom Yamas is with him in Scotland with more. Tom? Robin, good morning. This trip was supposed to be all about this resort, Turnberry, which Trump calls an amazing piece of property. But Trump has now landed in the middle of a major news event here in the UK. And though Trump says he stands with the voters who voted to leave the EU, right here in Scotland, they voted overwhelmingly to stay. This morning, Donald Trump is off the campaign trail, way off, landing in Scotland. He's here for the reopening of his Turnberry Golf Resort. Staffers on hand to greet him, some wearing those famous red Trump caps. But here, they say, make Turnberry great again. From the moment he landed, Trump bombarded with questions of Brexit. Basically, basically, they took back their country. That's a great thing. Trump taking the trip while back at home, Congress battles over gun control and the Supreme Court tackles a major ruling limiting amnesty for undocumented immigrants. But while his campaign is fighting to raise money, this trip was supposed to be about golf. But now with Brexit, Trump forced to weigh in on a major world event. This was one of the big votes in the history of Europe and Scotland and everywhere. Here in Scotland, like America, Trump is both loved and hated. What do you guys think about Donald Trump? I can't stand the man. Cannot stand the man and cannot stand what he's doing to golf. He has invested in this constituency and those jobs are important. Some of his course's Scottish neighbors even raising Mexican flags on their properties specifically to spite him. The Clinton campaign mocking Trump's trip, releasing this video slamming Trump's reputation in the UK. All they talk about is money, 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 and Trump, Trump, Trump. But a super PAC supporting Trump is taking care of attacking Clinton while the candidate is away. When Bill Cosby was accused of sexual assault, Mrs. Clinton tweeted, every survivor of sexual assault deserves to be believed. But when another Bill was accused of sexual assault, not so much. She savaged their dignity and shamed them. Some folks are going to have a lot to answer for. Now, a New York Times fact check of that Trump super PAC ad says their report was taken out of context. Trump is staying here today and tomorrow where he's touring his other golf resort in Aberdeen.